Hi, I'm Chris. And I'm Cynthia. And we're the Hanya family. So we're going to do some something different for you guys today. Mm. Last night when I was laying around in bed getting ready for sleeping, I realized that I had this crazy idea in my head. Mm. We were talking about the channel, which we often do, to be often honest. for way too long. Yeah, for way too long. But anyways, we were talking about the channel and I was like, I have this crazy idea. You know how there's bands that we love that do covers all the time? What if we do a back-to-back -back video to see who we thought did it better? Yeah. So that's what we're going to do today. Today I've picked The Jam, David Watts, and we're going to put it back-to-back -back with The Kinks, David Watts, to see how it is and uh, see which one we like better. The original versus the cover. Yeah. So the people who suggested this by the jam are Leslie Turner, Adam Davis, James Wilkins, and Neil McCarthy. Hmm. Now, now keep in mind, we are not music experts. Uh, <laughs> this we, is all opinion. This is all opinion. Yes. And it's what we like as opposed to what is better. We we don't know what is better. Okay? Well, I mean, it's opinion. It's what, an opinion. Which one we like It's really better. what it is about music anyway. And this is why we're doing this because we love music and we like to opine. Yeah. So we figured we'd give you a two for one and kind of compare them. That'd yes. be fun. I think it'll be fun. Yeah. So we're going to start, of course, with the Kinks, the original. So here we go. This is David Watts by the Kinks. This is the Nice and smooth. <laughs> This is so fun. It is. I've never heard, by the way, we've never heard this song yeah. <laughs> by either band. So this is so fun. Yeah. Right? It's very lively. It is. It's now, so lively. They're singing about how they would like to have the money that the Queen has and, or, or be like David Watts. Because <laughs> um, they, you know, I'd love to meet the Queen and all this stuff and like to be like her and be rich like her and. So, yeah. I understand that. Just basically saying their life is dull and... Dull and boring. Boring. As yeah. By comparison. Uh, but yeah, David Watts apparently is somebody important. I. We don't even know who David Watts is. We don't know who that is. That's so silly. We should have looked that up. We should have. But oh well. Oh, That's well. okay. We'll do an afterwards look up. Good idea. Yes. All right. So we'll continue. This again, very lively. Great fun. All right. <laughs> Wish I could be like Wish I could be like Wish I could be like Wish I could
That's fantastic. It was really well done. Um, the piano switching from left to right was a little weird, but yeah, a little bit. But I mean, I'm kind of used to that from this era, right? That's true. This yeah, this is late '60s. Yeah, they were just starting to get into stereo music, and you know, this was kind of more an experimental thing. Yeah, I'm kind of so, getting used to that. A yeah. lot of the late '60s songs we've heard yeah. are doing that. It's kind of how things went when things went from four track to eight track when they yeah. realized, the, and and when they started getting the Sorry. panning button. Uh, at, when they first started doing stereo, they had to do some crazy tricks to get actual stereo. So this would have to be over here. This would have to be over here. Yeah. There was no panning. So they just kind of, oh, there it is. There it is. But this was so fantastic. I'm very curious to see what the jam does with this, if they're going to keep it sounding almost exactly the same or if it's mm. going to be different, you know? Yeah. So we're going to have to take a look. Yeah. This here is the jam. With David Watts. This is so cool. It is. I think David Watts is literally just a guy, mm -hmm. but he's like the captain of the sports team and mm -hmm. head boy at school and all the girls want to date him and mm -hmm. he's from noble breed, they said, so basically uh, a rich family. So then he you may know. have met the queen at one time just because he's part of the right. nobility, yes. So maybe that's all this was, is just like David Watts is just the guy that they wish they could be. Yeah, I think so. You know what I mean? I think you're right. Yeah. Just the guy. You yeah. Know, coolest guy. The guy who seems to have it all, basically. Exactly. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Yeah. But so far, I find this is quite lively. Oh, yeah. Both versions. For Both sure. versions. And the kinks obviously are a lot quirkier. Um, I think that's really where they benefit is that this is kind of a jovial song about how they would love to be like David Watts. Um, but, you know, as. As far as recording one, of course, this was done in this was done seventies or eighties, and yeah. and you could see the nice I think good it was stereo seventies, if I remember. Yeah, I think it's good stereo spread. It's you know it's better recorded, of course. Yeah, uh, but uh, it sounds more serious. Let's continue. <laughs> yeah, and I don't mean serious in a you know this is awful. No, it's just, it's just different. Yeah, you know, Paul Weller's more of a <laughs> less extroverted person than uh than uh i don't remember the guy's name either ray davies oh there you go that's it yeah yeah i remember these names i know who ray <laughs> davies is i just it, it slipped me for a second all right let's finish all right
That's so cool. Mm. So which one do you think is better? Or, you know, compare in some fashion? I, yeah, I can compare. Um, I mean, again, the the kinks have their version and it's you know, it was written by them. They have, you know, a, a personal interest in it. So it sounds, you know, it, it comes from the heart for them, you know? Uh, with the jam, you can hear the musicianship and the definite respect for the song and the love for the song. But it doesn't have that personal feeling. You know what I mean? Whereas I think actually I like this version better. Mm -hmm. I like the jam version better. I'll tell you what it is. Mm -hmm. It's just simple little things. I like the harmonies better in this one. Oh, yeah. No, those were better. Actually. Yeah. And I like some of the musical choices they made to add to it. It was really cool. Like even the end where that piano was just going up and down like that. Yeah. That was mm -hmm. really neat. Yeah, it was really You know? Good. And I find it sounds even livelier. That's the strange part. Yeah. I find it slightly livelier sounding. Maybe mm. it's just the recording itself. Yeah. Because they were able to have better technology by that point. That's probably it. But, it's, it's punchier. It's Yeah. You know, and it's got a bit of that punk streak in it that the kinks don't have. Yeah. So. But both versions are absolutely wonderful. They're almost mm -hmm. the same. There's mm -hmm. just slight differences. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I'll... You know, the reason they added the piano like that? Because hmm. that rolling piano in the uh, in the original? Yeah. Only it wasn't exactly Only it didn't sound right. No. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, that was really neat. Uh, like, it was a good, it's like a good revisit of the song yeah. by a really good band. So. Yeah, this was really great. I'm so glad we decided to try this out. And I mm -hmm. hope you guys definitely enjoyed that as well. Thank you very much for the request. It was very much appreciated. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to check us out on our Patreon page. It's only $3 a month and we're adding stuff there all the time. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Share with your family and friends. Click that notification bell if you don't want to miss a video. And don't forget to enjoy yourself. Later. Later. <laughs>